Afternoon cactus people. It's a lovely spring day in the cactus house and today we're just going to have a look at what I've been doing in the corner to replace a mammal area that uh, unfortunately died last year. Now we, we had a vote on this corner a few weeks ago um, where most of you chose to put the uh, Oriosarius in the corner, which I agree with as well. It's a very good choice. This one was damaged by the um, sunlight, direct sun, a few years ago. Uh, and it was sort of dried out and burnt on one side, but he's since recovered very well. Uh, so he won't win any prizes at a beauty contest, but uh, he'll do fine in that corner. Uh, I built it up because underneath there is a bit of a concrete pad so it's no good trying to dig into the, the soil there. Uh, so I built it up with some York stone and some gravel and compost in there so it's nice and well drained. And then it looked a bit bare so I thought I'd put a few other things in there. Start with the um, Echinocereus pentaphylus here uh, which has lovely um, purple flowers on it, big purple flowers. And then I put, thought I'd put a few things in the crevices. So um, this one is a little Pygmyocereus, which has lovely little white flowers that come out late in the evening and not sort of disappear by morning. But they do smell lovely. Uh, the one at the top here is a um, peanut hybrid, um, Shema labibia, uh, which has lovely red flowers on it. And this one down here is a labibia from... Uh, Daz's dad. That's Daz from Cacti Mania. He sent me a cutting from one of his dad's plants, which was lovely. And to match that over in the corner, I've got another little Echinopsis from um, Angela, the lady I know from the uh, Cactus Society. She gave me a cutting of that a few years ago. So I thought they'd uh, make a, an interesting little collection in the corner. Um, I'll take the labels out. I only left them in so make it easier for the video. Uh, I won't need those in once things get established there. <coughs> this um, Polisocereus in the corner, although I put um, a polystyrene cup on, the, on it when it was cold and this was all covered in fleece in the winter, it still seems to have suffered a bit of cold damage on there. So um, if that does die back, it may just be the tip that's damaged. I'm not sure it's going to a shade of blue up here which is never done before uh, but I'm waiting to see what happens with that if it does die back I'll probably replace that with this um, Trichocereus which uh, doesn't grow too high it's a bit of a clumper as well so I thought that would probably make a nice replacement in the corner here just over there <coughs> rather than another uh, column than one there but uh, that was I think that was about it just wanted to show you what I'd done and uh, I'll do a follow up video when everything's settled in and uh, hopefully we'll have a few flowers on it this year and uh, we shall see later on thank you very much for watching everyone